Greetings, Cauldron of Weird. Welcome back. It's time for some more breaking news. Now, follow-up to video from the other day, Tyler Carter and the allegations against him. He responded. We have the statement right here. The statement is in front of me. And I'm going to warn you now, it is a bit of a doozy. So, bear with me here. There's three Instagram pages of of text here so I'm gonna read the entire statement from Tyler Carter himself I want to set the record straight that over my decade as a musician I have no doubt made mistakes I have crossed boundaries in how I've talked to people in early days I most definitely blurred lines and had trouble with understanding influence and power dynamics something I was not aware existed and shamefully did not see or recognize until later in my career when I began to understand the responsibility of fame and leadership. I have never physically assaulted anyone in my life, but I can't deny that I have escalated conversation and abused my power, leaving people uncomfortable and I will not run and hide from it. I had my inboxes open for people to come in, come and flirt with uh, no thought of repercussions. I fuck, <laughs> fuck. I blurred lines when engaging fans and sh or strangers in conversation. I fucked up. I made myself accessible and did not discipline myself at all for this. I am gravely remorseful. For years, I've been sorry. I'm not just sorry because this caught up to me, but there is never an inviting way to put yourself out there when it comes to a part of the past and a part of yourself that you're trying to grow from and make sure you never see again i have reached out in the past to people that feel i may have hurt or affected by my antics and out of pure compassion i wanted to make sure that they knew i was fully aware of what i did wrong and could only hope that they would be able to find solace and move forward in life i'm not going to use that to deflect the fact that there are people who are valid in their emotions. I will be I will always be sorry for my poor judgment, actions, and shortcomings as an influencer and will continue to apologize to anyone who needs to hear it no matter how often it's addressed. That is page 1. Page 2. Though I never intended to be a bad guy nor had any vicious intentions, I was blind in that putting interest in someone younger than me is never okay. Through the years of my career, I've had to take many steps to recovery from drugs, alcohol, and revisiting personal childhood trauma slash repressed memories that led me to that point and had to reflect on the mistakes I had made and hurt I may have brought onto others as well. I've been in counseling and made my constant best efforts to get the to the root of my problems and make honest strides in healing, growing, and accountability. My obviously manipulative, narcissistic nature led me to mentally hurting someone that was family to me, and I will for be forever in shame and genuine heartbreak that I ever blurred lines between friendship, brotherhood, and mentorship with feelings of confusion and romantic interest. <clears throat> I will say... I say heartbreak because the person I am today and have known of myself for several years cannot fathom the stress, the stress and angst I may have caused and have heard you. I have heard you. I have understood you. I am sorry. Final page. <clears throat> I am sorry to my followers I have confused or let down with my actions. I have strived to be a leader and protect and provide both inclusivity and a safe space for all. Perhaps some of this came from the an overcompensation to correct mistakes I made in my past. I have always cherished your stories of pain, your connections to my lyrics, and the constant courage of pouring your soul out at our feet to give us the great responsibility of being able to change the world. I have failed you. I have let you down no matter how great or small. I have disappointed and dishonored you and I will never stop apologizing for that. Lastly, to my fiance, I'm sorry to have put you through this turmoil. I understand that 
in your position of being a positive influence to people, you couldn't just go by without acknowledging my past. I don't want you to feel sorrow for having to do this to someone that you love and cherish. So I understood, and I'm taking accountability for my actions. I have, of course, since departed from issues. The legacy of our music, what it means to you all, and how it has guided you and healed so many, that will never die. Though I've tarnished my reputation, I will be taking some time to continue the work towards personal growth and processing with my family. Infinitely, Tyler Carter. That was a lot. That was a lot. And, um... Let me give you the objective reality here of what he just said. The objective reality is he just admitted to doing what he was accused of doing. As a fan of issues, I am very disheartened by this. As a, as someone who though advocates for per, for growth and reconciliation for actions you've done in the past, I am intrigued that someone actually went and uh, admitted their actions. That's not really something you see very often. So credit where it's due for that, but it doesn't make up for the fact that he just admitted to everything that he was accused of. This shirt, by the way, this sleep token shirt, I actually got it in November when um, I went and saw issues and Polyphia and sleep token up in Cleveland. <sighs> wow. This was a doozy and it is disheartening. You know, as someone who who was a much different and uglier person in their past, I definitely understand where he's coming from. Where it's like, yeah, I, I'm not the person I used to be, and uh, I beg your forgiveness. Great. But I can tell you for a fact that these that grooming is disgusting. Abusing your own power dynamic is disgusting and taking advantage of often young and impressionable people is disgusting you know we I, I pinned in the comment section on the other video to remind everyone in the comments to let due process play out I don't know what's going to happen after this I really don't I mean there's no there's no way I can sit here and accurately predict I know what's that what's going to happen next. I don't know if there's going to be legal repercussion for um, for Tyler Carter's actions. I, I don't know. Um, if there is, as I said before, due process is going to have to play out. I am disappointed. And, uh... Never, never fun to find out that an artist that you like has, could do something like this. You know, it's not the first time I've gone through it either. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm sure that some of you are taking this a lot harder than I am. I will tell you, it, it often does not get easier. This is kind of one of those situations. And this is probably like the third or fourth time that, that an artist I have I've enjoyed has done something pretty heinous. So. Shit, man. That's. This is crazy. Um. These are very, very serious claims he just admitted to. Very disheartening. Very disappointing. Um. Wow. So. That's that. That's that, and that's that, I suppose. We don't have to have a uh, long, drawn-out thing with uh, fans of, of the band and fans of Tyler Carter saying, it's like, oh, he's innocent. He admitted to it. This isn't going to be like Davi Vanity, where he has his legion of 
of crazed fans going after people. He admitted to it. Read the post for yourself. It's on his official Instagram. I will link it in the description below. Read it. I am disappointed. I'm going to stop droning about this. Um, I guess the lesson here is to always, always, always take anything and everything with a grain of salt. Always. No matter how much you like this celebrity, no matter how much you think they're an amazing person, people are people. And people are not always good. So always keep your head on a swivel and always have that tiny shred of doubt, even if they're your favorite band. I'm Corey from Cauldron of Weird. Thank you for um, coming back for this video. I'm out. See ya.